So you made the decision to stream in 4K, did you? Well, that's great and all, but now your audience is telling you, dude, your stream is blurry and it keeps lagging out. How do you fix this? What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Ray's Night Shift, where we talk about everything streaming related. Now, today we're going to answer the question, why does my stream look all janky? Why is it so beat up? I had this nice looking stream in my head, and when I see it, it looks like just... Mm. <laughs> why is that <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and fix that in this video so make sure you stick around to the end to pretty much fix any problems you will have now or in the future so the first things first there's two deciding factors here the first one is gonna be your hardware can it keep up with the rendering and the second one's gonna be your internet can your internet meet the demand to actually send out the signal from that render to the internet fast enough for you to actually have everything processing correctly now, let's diagnose what problem you might have if you're actually streaming and you're running into these issues. So first things first, let's tackle it. Is it a bandwidth problem? Is your internet too slow to actually keep up with the demand that your hardware is trying to push into it? This is how you can tell. When you are streaming and you look at the bottom right on OBS, do you have a nice green signal or is it red or yellow? That's a first indicator on whether you need to lower down the bit rate. Now, just because you have a green square does not mean you're out of the woods just yet. Sometimes when you're on a wireless signal, you'll have good internet speeds for a certain amount of time, but every now and then it just disconnects just a little bit and your speed drops significantly. That is when your stream will start to freeze and then your audience will say, oh man, the stream crashed or something like that. That's how you know you need to plug in your ethernet cable directly from your PC or wherever you're streaming from into the modem. Now that's gonna help out a lot. I always recommend if you can avoid wireless signals, avoid them all together and always stick to an ethernet port but if it's all you got it's all you got what you're going to want to do is actually lower the bit rate until you start getting a quality that you do not want now once you start getting a quality that that's acceptable and this is going to take some trial and error because you really don't know how much your internet can push personally i would say keep it around 4500 and work your way up or down but that's a nice sweet spot in the middle you're not going to have no 4k resolution looking amazing at 4500 but ultimately, it's a good base start if you're around 1080p. So you can always raise it if your connection is stable and you could always lower it if it's still giving you issues. So I would raise my bitrate and lower it in increments of 1000. So if you have 4500, by all means, raise it to 5500 or lower it to 3500. But once you're down in that area of 3500, it's really going to start chalking up your stream. So by all means, keep it above 4500 if you can. And this is the next thing I would tell you. Lower down the resolution if your internet can't keep up. And this is a real shame because if your hardware can keep up with 1080p or 4K streaming, but you're limited by your internet, even though it's a bummer, you're better off lowering your resolution and actually having a clean signal. So that way your audience can actually have a good experience watching your stream. Now, those are going to be the main ways to fix a blurry stream. The only other way that it's going to be blurry is from a hardware perspective and your settings. Now, what do we look for? Really, what resolution is your output? Uh, maybe by accident you switched it to 144p or something like that, right? So make sure you're checking your resolution in OBS to make sure that you're actually giving the most optimal resolution to your stream and that way it's a better experience overall and you're going to know you have a hardware issue if your system actually starts dropping frames hopefully at this point i've cleared up those issues on your blurry stream if i haven't by all means comment down below i'd love to answer some of these questions if you do enjoy this type of streaming content make sure you subscribe to the channel like the video if you did end up enjoying it and you can always check me out on twitch same name raise night shift and with that said i will see you guys on the next one